In today's video, we're going to talk about a special type of dynamic host pools in the Nerdio Manager for WVD called single user desktops. So single user desktops are a way to deploy a VDI environment where each user gets a dedicated VM while they're logged into their session, meaning they are isolated from all other users, only one user per machine. However, that machine is not persistent or is not permanently assigned to that user. So a permanently assigned machine would be a personal desktop, which is available as a static host pool in the Nerdio Manager for WVD. And this is, this is the option called Session Desktop Personal or Persistent. This is where you can create a number of VMs and then permanently assign users or have the system automatically assign users on first login, which means that whenever a user logs in the next time, they will always be placed on the very same machine that was assigned to them initially. Single user pool desktops are a bit different. They are a type of dynamic host pool and they're available right here. So you can see they're called single user desktop pool. And in this case, when a user logs in, they are given a random desktop from a pool of available machines that's gonna be theirs for the session. And then when they're done, they'll be able to return that desktop and have that desktop even be automatically scaled in or maybe refreshed. Uh, in the VMware world, this is known as uh, floating desktops. And in the Citrix world, this is uh, known as random non-persistent desktops. So let's go ahead and create a host pool with single user desktop. So let's give it, uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it uh, demo single user desktop pool, like that. We'll give it a prefix, single user, select an image that we are going to use. Let's go with a marketplace image. We're gonna make these be two core and eight gigs of RAM with a premium SSD for the OS drive. And we can assign some users right now or do that later. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now what you'll notice is I did not have to specify the number of desktops that I want in this pool. And that is because this is controlled by auto scaling and auto scaling configuration is going to be the next screen that's gonna come up uh, as soon as this host pool is created in the WVD management service. Okay, now that the auto scaling configuration screen is on, we have to turn it on. Then these are the settings we configured previously on the previous screen. And if we go under host pool sizing, this is where we get to specify how many VMs we want to allow at the maximum inside of this pool. And there's two types of capacities we can specify. We can specify a base host pool capacity and a burst capacity beyond the base. So imagine we're gonna have 100 users that are going to use this host pool at the peak. So what we can do is we can say that I want to have 50 VMs uh, 50 desktop VMs available to me as a base. That means the pool will always have 50 desktops. And I want to allow for 50 more to be created on an as needed basis. Then if I go down into the scaling logic configuration, here the only parameter I can really set is how many available or how many spare desktops I want to keep. So let's say I'm gonna type in the number 10 here. What this means is that all the time, the system is going to try to keep up to 10 desktops subject to the maximum that I've specified in the host pool sizing, which is 50 plus 50 or 100. As soon as this number exceeds 10, the system will automatically either delete any burst capacity VMs, or if it only has 50 machines left, it will start shutting down the capacity, which is the base host pool capacity. I can control if that scale-in or scale-in happens at any time or only after business hours because these are dedicated machines to individual users. Uh, this is something that can happen at any time. And then we have an option to pre-stage a certain amount of capacity by, um, you know, by start of business hours. So if I have pre-staging turned off, the system will keep 10 machines powered on out of these base 50, 40 will be turned off, 
And then these 50 won't even exist until the initial 50 are consumed. And then as users come in, into the office and start logging in, this number will drop below 10. And then these additional 40 that are currently off are gonna start powering out. Once the first 40 users are logged in and then the, 40, for, for, the 41st user logs in, the system is going to then start building burst capacity VMs based on our configuration. Now, if I wanted to have all 50 available and up and running by the start of business hours, for example, Monday through Friday by 8 a.m., I could configure my pre-staging capacity to be 50. I would go ahead and click Save, and this would configure my host pool with 50 machines. It would make sure that 50 of them are turned on Monday through Friday by 8 a.m. And then outside of those hours, it would only try to maintain up to 10 available sessions and scale in any machines that are not in use beyond the 10 that are kept as available. So this is the single user desktop. Again, a very useful type of a host pool in a scenario where you cannot pool users together on a single machine. For example, if users are using VPN uh, point to site VPN clients, uh, when the single user launches a VPN client, if there are other users on the same machine that may uh, cause some problems with their networking and their ability to work. So this is useful in those scenarios. It's also useful in scenarios where you need to give users dedicated uh, capacity in terms of CPU and, uh, and storage and, uh, and memory, and you don't want to share a single VM with multiple users, but at the same time, you don't want to permanently assign users to desktops so that you can take advantage of the flexible and dynamic nature and be able to scale things in and out based on how many users are logged in at any given time. See you soon.